Anything that's in a, a conductor, the electrons can move across. Anything that's an insulator, they can't. A balloon. Is a balloon a conductor or an insulator? Conductor. What's a balloon made out of? Plastic, right? Latex. Does plastic latex conduct electricity or is it a good insulator? It's an insulator. It does not conduct electricity. Balloons are insulators. So watch what happens when I rub it on, when I rub rabbit fur on something that's an insulator, much like rubbing rabbit fur on your styrofoam, right? What happened? I put electrons on the styrofoam, right? Now, the first thing I want you to notice is when you take electrons away from something, what does it, what charge does it lose? It's positive. So whenever you remove electrons from something, you've left it positive. So now this is why the balloon will not, you rub a balloon to your hair, that's why it sticks to you. You rub a balloon, that's why it sticks to you because now you've taken electrons here. And notice that they can't move around. See how they're stuck in place on the balloon? This is why it attracts you. Now watch, watch what happens to the wall. Do you, do you know what happens when the, the like charges? They repel, watch. See that? This is why the balloon actually sticks to the wall. When I get it close, it sticks to the wall because if you look right here, see how there's no, there's no negative charges here, which leaves it positive. We call that induction. You've pushed the electrons through repulsion. We call that electron, electric induction. So through magnetism, we've pushed them away, and now I'm left with a positive charge here and a negative charge here, and they attract. That's why these attract, because they're positive and negative. What's going on inside your pie tin? Is you've got uh, a plate. This is my really crude upside down styrofoam plate. When you rub it with that rabbit fur, you're putting electrons on it. These electrons are not able to move around. They're stuck there, like the electrons were stuck on the balloon, okay? Now, here's my uh, very crude um, pie tin. So now when I put this, my pie tin has an equal number of positive and negative charges on it. So when I bring my pie tin down, the negative charges on this get pushed away. And what they do is they congregate as far away as possible from that. That is why when you charge this up, first of all, that's why you observe this sticking to that. Do you see how the plate stuck to that? Because all the, all the electrons are on the top of the pie plate, which leaves the bottom of the pie plate positively charged. See that? The bottom of the pie plate is positively charged. That styrofoam is now negative. They attract. That's called static clink. You get it all the time when you take stuff out of the dryer. Now, when I bring my finger in here, when I bring my finger in, the electrons Travel down my finger and they leave. Take my finger away. What charge is the pie plate now? It's positive. So I touched it. I bring this away. I took the electrons away from it, which left it positive. When I touch it again, you notice you get a shock. When you bring your finger in again, the electrons that are on your body naturally, they go and replenish. So you have electrons traveling this way when you touch it. You put it back down on the, you put it back down on here. The electrons that were here get repelled by that. And the process repeats itself. So now the electrons gather around around the top because of, what's that word again? Induction, right? I bring my finger in here, 
snap, you hear a shock. These things are leaving. That's, that shock you feel is electric current. It's electrons leaving the pi plate. And when you, when the electrons left the pi plate, what do they leave it? Positively charged. You bring your finger in again, the electrons refill it up. That's electric current traveling to the pi plate, fills it back up, and that's a shock again. So it's electrons traveling to and away from. Now, what's the deal with this ball going back and forth? Well, how does that work? Exact same way. So I charge this up. I put this down here. The electrons have gathered at the top rim as far away as possible. P.S. This is you know, when you put your hands on that Van de Graaff thinner, that big ball back there. That's why your hair stands up because the electrons get on your hair and they want to get as far away from everybody as possible so they make your hair do that. That's why your hair does that because light charges repel. So the top of this has lots of negative charge. This ball acts as a delivery truck. You didn't see it, but this ball went bing and it touched the thing and then now it's pushed away. You can tell that it's actually repelled because if I bring this stick a little bit closer, do you see how the belt, the, it's actually repelled from it? Like, kind of like a little magnet, an electromagnet. So what's happening is this. This thing came close to it. The reason that it went close to it was the same reason the balloon sticks to the wall. There are naturally occurring electrons on this ball. Because the top of this is negatively charged, it repels the electrons on the ball to the other side. Now it's attracted because the electrons are on the opposite side, which leaves the front side positive. It attracts to the rim, touches the rim, and the rim deposits electrons on there. Now it becomes negatively charged. These are the same charge. When I touch this, the electrons go to my finger, It gets re attracted through induction. It gets deposited on. So it's basically being a delivery truck. It's taking electrons off the plate. And that's why you notice it dying after a while. So after a while, this goes very strongly. Some of you have noticed it, it goes really, really good at the beginning. But then uh, over time, it ends. Because this thing is taking electrons, depositing them on my body, grounding them into the earth. So it eventually will drain that. And I, I can drain the entire tank right now by touching it. And now nothing happens. When I touch that, what charge does it leave this now? Positive. Now it's going to take electrons from my body and it's going to act as a delivery truck in the other way. Now it's taking the electrons from my body back to the pie plate. I can fill the tank and now nothing happens. 